Good morning, everybody, and we are off to the puppy park. Oh, the struggle was real last night after I said good night. Obviously, I filmed a couple more clips because uh, just do a little back-to-back -back night shooting with the iPhone and the Sony. And then I went and looked. One of the uh, guys I had seen talk about the camera. I don't remember his name. He is a major camera enthusiast, and he was talking about the update that now lets you shoot in RAW. So I went looking, downloaded the Xperia Assistant and everything to the computer, and um, it said that my device was up to date, but yet I only had RAW JPEG support. I did not have RAW support. And my dumbass reinstalled software. Why I say that is, screwed up my work profile at Walmart. You only get so many times you can do it before it locks you out, and uh, I didn't unenroll. So it'll be another enrollment for the same device. So I'm going to probably have to call them. The other struggle was my uh, my Oakleys. I, these are the tungsten lenses that came yesterday. Um, I finally watched a video from one of these other optic companies that make lenses for them to f see which way they go in. And I had them in there backwards. Had them in there right the one time. There's like a little, I'll have to show you on the other lens, I'll probably forget, like I've forgotten to show the projector. Um, but the outer edge here, there's one piece that comes up and it has like a little point. It's supposed to be at the top corner of both lenses. I get this one in fine. I think it's this one. Get this one together fine. This one here, wouldn't would the, the screw would just not grab. So I kept pulling it out and the screw would grab. I grabbed it without the lens in it. I grabbed it just to screw itself. I finally got to the point where I uh, actually dropped just a couple dribbles of uh, my Loctite gel glue in, super glue in there. And uh, let it set a little bit while I was getting the other lens back together. Ooh, they are clear. Oh, that's much better vision. Yeah, I had them in backwards. That's why my vision was getting goofed up with those other lenses, but now I don't know that I can actually change them with super gluing the one slot. Kind of just needed to make new threads in the actual nose piece here. So, hopefully, if I ever decide to change them, I can. But yeah, that's better. The other ones, because I had them in backwards, the it was crossing my eyes up. It was making me somewhat sick. <laughs> Because that one screw, I could get it in one way, it would lock in, but the other way, the right way, would not. And now I got it. I think I'm going to change out my uh, little selectors on the side here back to the black ones because they're a little looser than they need to be. Because, like I said, there's a little rubber piece behind the, the arms here that control how far back the arms swing. And the ones that came in the red were the smallest ones and they open up just a little too much for my head. All right, give the puppy some air. Up to the puppy park and get this uh, last day of vacation, or the vacation, last day off underway. It is 8.14, we're running much earlier today. I got a stand to put together, hopefully before Terry falls asleep. It's 11 days away from her second birthday. She's almost two years old. <laughs> Hope she doesn't go through the terrible twos like her little brother did. I accidentally reset the Sony yesterday, last night. Um, I, I, I'm, I am still, like, I'm looking at the footage yesterday. I'm not marking it when I switch over, um, but I know when I'm editing. And I was looking at the playback this morning, and I was like, oh, that is, that is just, that is not good. That is the, the experience, just that when I was cooking last night, and the one shot at the park, I actually just pulled out the Sony because it was easier. On the dogs, it looks fine. On me, it does not. And I kind of wonder if it's not because I have the camera flipped upside down. Because so I'm rotating the camera over to, to film. It shouldn't matter. The clarity just does not feel like it's always there. I don't know why. Um, and I noticed when like I was doing the side it doesn't the stability from a long shot looks decent but up close it's it looks really shaky of course I was using my left hand it's such a struggle because I mean I still have I think I'm still in my return window it's like do I just want to bite the bullet and just say forget this device but the same token I there's certain times especially at work I use it the thumbprint reader 
is such a nice feature because obviously the iPhone does not have Face ID. It has Face ID, but with the mask you can't use it. So, if anything this pandemic gets, it might be Apple pushing them to put a thumbprint reader back on their devices. I'm zoomed way in. Alright. I'm just gonna let it roll. Come on, Priya. Let's go. Well, these guys are getting mired. Priya, especially, when Mateo's being the friendly dog. You gonna go pee on your post? You gonna go pee on your post? Huh? Huh? You can go jab. Come, come here, get out of the way. Yeah. We're gonna do a basset owner and a beagle owner. Yeah. yeah. You got all kinds of attention. Here's your buddy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, did you guys get to see Athena today? Yeah, you get to see her yesterday, too. Yeah. I love seeing another puppy they know. Where'd you go, Bray? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's gorgeous this morning. I love this section. It's just so... It's always just so peaceful. That's the word, peaceful. Now we're on the Xperia. Not sure what was going on there. The timer didn't start first. Yeah, so the same shot almost with the Xperia. I mean, stability on the on the Xperia better than the in the RX 100 easily, but the image quality that's what the problem is. Now right here, it always looks better. All right, to make it a fair comparison, um, I put it in auto mode. So I can't see the screen at all right now. That's <laughs> the downside. I polarized lenses with this camera. Someone said if you turn it on its side, it actually uh, actually works. I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. All right. I'm gonna do both cameras. Come on, Priya. And I'm asking Shane. Uh, there is a Sunflower Field at 87. Yes, I was told about that. I was told to take my drone out 87 out by um, Shane and fly the drone over it. It's like supposed to be like. Huge sunflower She's definitely on the trail of something. She has been sniffing her little brains out for a bit now. Well, she's tracking. Nose down, she was running ahead. Come on! <laughs> Anything, buddy? Huh? Sister crazy? We all knew that. Yes, we did. Alright, I don't normally give you the statistics, but 41 minutes, 13 seconds. I actually goofed up and forgot to record a section of the walk. Um, we got our two miles. Average pace was 20 minutes, 35 seconds, which is horrible. But, uh, you know, burned 195 calories. Average heartbeat was 105 beats per minute. Uh, elevation change was about 31 feet. Really? 66 degrees. Humidity is at 77%. Uh, overall, not too bad of a walk. Alrighty. So here's our project. It's a new, it's technically like a microwave cart, but it's a little bigger than what we have by the refrigerator. Gives us some more storage space. Well, this is my assembly for the day. Alright, well right there's what it's supposed to turn into. Right now it's just a pack of parts. <laughs> you, got it. you got your gong, buddy. You got your gong. Just can I have my gong? You can play with it like that. You're not getting any peanut butter in it. No, he's, he's good. <laughs> oh, love it when I get to pull out my handy dandy Allen keys. These things come in so handy. <laughs> There it is. It's messed up. It's I gotta actually pull the one side off and flip it around and put it back on, which is a total pain in the ass. And I screwed the top up because I used the wrong bolts. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's a little bit longer. I'm gonna sit in the kitchen so we can have like a workspace up on the top there. And uh, yeah, fortunately the time lapse ran for a few minutes, but yeah. Yeah, I, gotta, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to order a new top for it completely. Because it was my stupidity. I used the screws for this up here. And this. Alright, so I'm going to release the top on one side because I have the holes over here. Where are they? Maybe over here. These little pinholes here. Right. 
if it would turn with me. It's still on the gimbal. These little guys here. Yeah. They're supposed to be on the inside to hook in the, these guys. Alright, well, it's together and then it's new home, but I did contact customer support for a new top. My email, so doggy treats go up there, I think. I think that's what she's gonna do. Obviously, I just set that one there next to it, so that's what we had, that's what we got now. So we gained basically that whole side there of more storage. And if the dog treats do stay up there, gained a whole tabletop to work on. So when you're preparing things, you can bring them over here. And I don't know, she said something about that chair. I don't know. So, mm -hmm. what guys? What? What you doing? Mm hmm. What you doing? What you doing? What kind of weird zoom is on this thing? There's 3x on the 16 over. You can see it went out. Usually right about two. Two-inch magnification is usually the best. Mm -hmm. Heads cut off. Oh, that's where you look. <laughs> 16 millimeter. Snoop. Alright. I don't know where we're going, what we're doing. I'm just gonna get out of here because Priya's whining a little bit. She went down to the office and asked if I could get a trash can, and uh, he's like, oh, he can come pick it up. Like, oh, I'd make a mess for him to pick up. But whatever. One of those really weird days. Got the stand together. I contacted customer support. I've not gotten an email back. I basically tried to super glue the pieces back in. That didn't work real well at all. Uh, I just put a piece of scotch tape over the four spots with the pieces. Taped them down for now. Hopefully they contact me with a price on the new tabletop. Just stupid. Just so stupid. There is, I'm sitting there going, those screws look too long. And I didn't read it again. Of course, I unpacked them, so I didn't know what, what number they were. And they I did not realize, just looking at my schedule, this is my last day off for nine freaking days. I'm not in any way happy. Freaking ridiculous. Tomorrow's 11 to 8 at the service desk, and then CSM, I'm going to be bouncing. Primarily, I'll be a CSM. Well, I'm not sure this is it, but yeah, there was another one. This one looks a little more lively than the last one. Well, this day's a complete freaking bust. I just, I, I'm just, I don't know. I think once I found out I had a nine-day stretch, I just lost my, my willpower to go. I went up there to Lock Haven. That was pointless. Went and got gas and came home. Uh, just, just, there's no place I needed to be. There's nothing I can think of to do. That's, you know, it's so late in the day. It's after two o'clock now. And I just, I feel like I should probably relax and get myself some good rest for the rest of my <laughs> two weeks. Oh, man. Yeah, so it's Tuesday. My next day off isn't until, like, freaking next Friday. That's crazy. Come on. Let's go, Bessie. Come on, Bessie, Bessie. Come on. Too busy sniffing. Yeah, you big girl? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You big girl. Stuff the air. Wanna go to the playground? Huh? You gonna run around the playground? We'll get there someday. Maybe not today. Well, it's a Walmart bag. Leave that alone. That's Baba. <laughs> oh, princess, I'm over here. What are you doing way over there? Playground's over there. No, don't eat stuff. Come on. Between you eating stuff and him barking, I don't know which one I'm going to pick on first. No eats. You going to play? You haven't played in a long time. I guess not. I think it's too warm out, Dad. With his collar on him, I'm telling you what, his ears have been back the whole time. He's just like, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> Are you in big trouble, boo-boo? Huh? Are you in big trouble? Hey, why are you so noisy? Hmm? Say, I'm sorry. Sorry. Helicopter. 
Here he is. on the landing waiting for me, the bottom landing. <laughs> we had a conversation, he's got his collar back on. Right. Ultra rewind test with Sony. Slow motion here. Ultra rewind test with the iPhone. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, what you doing? Hi, buddy. You scared my dog. You scared the invincible Mateo. She did. He jumped like a mile in the air when he saw the squirrel. <laughs> Where you going, dude? Yeah, you robbed that tree. One thing is for sure, resetting the phone, my battery life is a shit ton better today. <laughs> I'm at 83% at the end of the day. I've mainly done a lot of filming. I did updated all the apps on it. So, it's definitely working better. That's the same gun that I lost last night. There he is. Anybody know what kind of spider that is? Is it dangerous? He's being chill. Oh, step on him. He's outside. It's not right. Nope, leave him alone. <laughs> and he's off the race. Good job, Mateo. You scared a spider. Come on, little man. Go away from him. Okay, so I keep forgetting before I go to bed or edit. There is the new projector setup. You can see on his left side over here his face where the door. Now, if I move over a little bit more, it'll become more pronounced. You'll see the line in his face. The closet doesn't seem to bother me too much, and I do get a little bit of a shadow from the star, but. That thing is on a 12 foot wall. And uh, Super Saf doing comparison the iPhone 11 and the Note 20 Ultra. Alright, so then with the door closed, I think I have to kind of move it over a little bit to the right again. I don't know how I got it got adjusted, but uh, you can see I am shooting some of this wall. What are you thinking, puppy? Should we call it a night? The birds are abed, the fish are asleep. I think we should do, uh, head up to edit. Yeah? This is okay. All we did was sleep today, Dad. I did take a pretty healthy nap, I'm not gonna lie. So, making myself a cup of coffee, trying to bring myself back to life. I took my pills, and for the second time, my Tosequin went down my, one of them went down sideways, and it was still dissolving right about in my sternum. Feels fantastic. Thanks so much for watching. A little bit of a unusual day. Uh, just struggling, finding something to do that's not outrageous be far away and not expensive so i hope you enjoyed it anyway and i will see you tomorrow to start my nine day stretch with one day lower time so yay hoorah i'm gonna do my best can't say i won't call off somewhere in the middle of it but uh just try not to have a good night